We begin this video where we left in the previous one. We promised we would assume that this op amp was saturated at minus 14 volts, just to demonstrate that that wasn't so. So I begin by erasing this. This is uh, negative 14 volts. That is our assumption, right? That is what we said. We would assume that it's negative, saturated. We don't need the name for this node. Uh, this voltage is going to change. Negative feedback for one. Uh, this is not true anymore because it's saturated. So uh, this equation doesn't hold. Negative feedback for beta. Yes, there is negative feedback for beta. And there is an equation Vp equals 2Vn. So node 2 v2 equals to vp which is zero so this equation is still correct still correct kcl1 vy minus v1 over 4 this is this current this one that's correct is equal to 0 plus v1 over 12 that is right and kcl2 is instead of vx now this is minus 14 so let me erase this instead of this one is minus 14 minus v2 over 12 and uh, this current is v2 minus vx those are the three equations we need to solve well v2 is zero we can replace this for zero and this for zero and then those are the two equations to solve let's solve them these are the two equations kcl1 and kcl2 with the substitution of V2 equal to 0. We want to solve for V1 and Vy. Linear solution, click. V1 is 2.625 volts and Vy is 3.5. The output of the second amplifier is 3.5 volts, but V1, which is Vn for the first op-amp, is 2.63 volts. Let's see if these voltages meet the condition for negative saturation. This voltage is 3.5 volts, the output of the second one. And the one, this one, is 2.63, 2.63 volts. We assumed that the op-amp was negative saturated, but for that to be true, for this op-amp, Vn needs to be greater than Vp. This voltage needs to be greater than this one. But the voltage of this node, Vn, is 2.6, while the voltage of Vp is 5 volts. Obviously, 2.6 is not greater than 5. So, this is not true. So, this is not true. See, even though in the previous exercise, the voltage that we obtained seemed to suggest that the op-amp was negative saturated, it was not. So, but we know it is saturated, so the reality is it's positive saturated, as in the second part of this series of four exercises. Thank you very much.